Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the astrology for the full moon in Virgo happening on 17th or 18th of March 2022. The date will vary depending on your location and on my channel I post new moon videos, full moon videos and weekly video horoscopes and you can watch those if you are interested. And I also request you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post a video. So let's get started. Now, this full moon is happening in the sign of Virgo. So you can see this on the chart, right? Virgo is right here and the full moon is at 27 degrees of Virgo right here. And what is a full moon? A full moon is when the moon and the sun are in opposition. They oppose each other, make a 180 degree angle like this right? And full moons, generally speaking, are ending points, completion points, culmination points, release points. A lot of emotional release happens on a full moon. Now, this full moon is happening in the sign of Virgo. So, themes associated with Virgo will be highlighted. And Virgo is the sign associated with our reality, right? It's the day-to-day. -day. It's our diet. It's our health. It's our job. It's all these things. Virgo is about getting organized, getting planned, being grounded in this reality. So all these themes might be touched upon a little bit, maybe getting organized a little bit, maybe planning something out, maybe thinking very deeply about something or analyzing something. That's also Virgo, right? Maybe, maybe focusing on cleaning or our day-to-day. -day. So that's the general theme of this full moon. Now, this full moon is happening at 27 degrees. You can see this, right? You can see this right here. And what that means is that if you are familiar with your chart, look for 27 degrees of Virgo, whichever house that falls in. And for you, those themes will be highlighted, right? Say if it's in the first house, then first house themes will be highlighted. So that's more important, actually, wherever 27 degrees of Virgo is for you. Now, let's talk about the aspects this full moon is making, because the aspects will color the energies of the full moon. Now, the first important aspect this moon is making is an opposition to Neptune. You can see Neptune is at 23 degrees of Pisces and it is opposing the moon, right? And Neptune is a planet that can go one of two ways, right? It can be very creative, very spiritual, very magical, right? Neptune is the planet of the higher realms. It's the other realms. So it can bring about this really mystical, magical, creative, spiritual experience of feeling. Alternatively, it can also bring with it confusion, right? It can bring with it some haziness, some fog, an inability to see things clearly, being confused about things. So any one of these things can happen on this full moon, right? Either there's some confusion, some things are not very clear at the moment, or there's this very spiritual, creative, magical element to this whole moon. So that's the first important aspect this moon is making. The second aspect this moon is making, which is positive, is a trine to Pluto, right? Pluto is right here at 28 degrees and the moon is at 27 degrees. Now, this is a really, really close aspect, right? The orb is almost about 8 degree. And Pluto is the planet of transformation and catharsis and healings and endings and beginnings. And the moon in many ways represents our emotions. So this moon can be a very transformative moon. It can bring with it a lot of changes. It can bring with it a lot of beginnings or even endings, right, Pluto? But since this is a trine, a positive aspect, the process of transforming things in our life or the process of releasing, the process of catharsis, all Pluto things might not feel challenging, right? It's a positive aspect. So that is the second important aspect this moon is making. And let's not forget that the North Node right here at 23 degrees is in a sextile with Neptune. And Pluto is also trining this North Node, right? And this makes a grand trine with the moon. So let me just show you guys this. The moon here 
is making a positive aspect with Pluto. Pluto is making a positive aspect with the North Node and the Moon is making a positive aspect with the North Node. And what this means is that the transformation that I just spoke about, the transformation or the subtle changes or the endings and beginnings of the release that we might go through is to align with the future. The North Node right here, Rahu, represents the future. So that's the most important energy of this moon, right? That it is a moon that can bring with it transformation. At the same time, there can be this very magical feeling with Neptune or there can be a lot of confusion. So these are the three aspects that I wanted to talk about concerning this moon. Now, I do want to mention a few other things that are going on on this moon that will affect us. So let's talk about those. Now the first is that Mars and Venus are still really, really close. You can see Mars at 9 degrees, Venus at 11 degrees. And Mars and Venus have been really, really close for a few weeks now. And this energy can manifest in two ways. One, a lot of energy to make things happen regarding our projects, regarding our relationships, or things associated with ourselves, right? Or it can be a very frustrating energy as well. It, it can bring about a lot of frustration for our projects and relationships. So this energy has been going on for quite a while now, a few weeks. And on this moon, that energy will continue of either being frustrated about our projects and relationships or having immense drive and passion and energy towards our projects and relationships. So that's also there and I do want to mention one thing that on this full moon Uranus here sorry yeah Uranus here is squaring this energy it's not exact it will be but what this means is that Uranus is an energy that is sudden it is unexpected it brings with it sudden changes and it is making a 90 degree angle with both Mars and Venus. So what this means is that sudden changes, unexpected changes can happen to our relationships, to our projects, or to how we do things, Mars. So there's a lot of energy about sudden changes, unexpected changes happening, right? So just be mindful of that. And the Uranus-Mars square, right? Uranus and Mars. This can also bring with it a lot of intense energy, a lot of energy. So just be mindful of that as well because Mars is the planet of taking action. Yes, it's our energy. Yes, but it's also anger and frustration. And Uranus is sudden changes, unexpected changes. Yes, but it's also a lot of energy. So in many ways, it's supercharging Mars. It's supercharging our drive. It's supercharging our ability to take action and make things happen. But this energy can manifest negatively as well as anger and frustration. So just be mindful of that. If we channel this square into doing things, taking action, and expending our energy through that anger and frustration won't happen. So that's also going on on this full moon. There's a lot going on on this full moon. It's not a very straightforward moon, right? And especially because it's making an aspect with Neptune. And Neptune, like I said, can go one of two ways. And with Neptune, things are never really clear, right? It's the planet of delusion and deception. So just be mindful of that as well on this full moon. and. Uranus here is also sextiling Mercury, 60 degree angle. And Mercury represents our mind, our thinking, communication, our day to day. And Mercury is the ruler of Virgo, where the full moon is happening. So Mercury is very important on this full moon. And it is making a 60 degree angle with Uranus. And Uranus can bring sudden changes, unexpected changes to Mercury, to our mind, to our thinking, to communication, to our day-to-day, -to, -day, to our health, lifestyle, our job, all these things. But it's a positive aspect, so it won't feel very challenging. But Uranus, like I said, is a lot of energy and Mercury is our mind. So there can be a tendency to feel restless, right? And just be mindful of that. And with the square to Mars, it can just be 
this tendency of being restless or frustrated or angry can be magnified. So just be mindful of that. And Virgo in itself is a sign that rules stress, right? Virgo energy, I'm not saying if you're a Virgo, you feel this or do this, I'm a Virgo, but Virgo energy, right, can get very stressed out. It can get very anxious. It can get very worried. So just be mindful of these energies on this full moon. And I think there's one more thing that I would like to talk about on this full moon. Again, this is not aspecting the moon directly, but it will impact the moon's energy. And what's happening here is that Saturn here is squaring the nodes. <clears throat> you can see this. Saturn is at 20 degrees of Aquarius and the north node is at 23 and the south node Ketu at 23 as well. It's making a 90 degree angle with both these nodes. And any planet in this configuration is magnified. So Saturn is magnified. So on this full moon, we might feel some restrictions. Saturn is restrictions. Saturn is hard work. It's limitations. It's discipline. So all these things are magnified. So we might feel restricted. We might feel slightly limited. But that doesn't mean it's negative, right? It doesn't mean that. And let me backtrack a little bit. Pluto here, trying the north node on Feb 14th exact, which means in many ways we changed things, transformed things so that they could align with the future a little bit more around then. And now Saturn is saying, hey, time to take decisions, time to act, time to decide on those changes that you thought about or made, you know, time to work on those a bit more. But Saturn can feel restrictive. So just be mindful of that as well. But that being said, Jupiter here is sextiling the North Node, which means there are blessings to where we are headed. There are blessings to the future. And Neptune here is also sextiling the North Node, right? Which means that there is a spiritual element to all this work that we are doing, right? Neptune is the most spiritual planet. So in many ways, I would sum this energy as that, that we began to transform certain things in our lives to align more with the future, perhaps in the month of Feb. And now we are asked to take decisions and work hard towards those things. And we might feel restricted and limited in some ways. But at the same time, with the sextile to Neptune, whatever we are moving towards is in alignment with our spiritual path. And with the sextile to Jupiter, there are blessings and rewards that are there. So that's the basic, basic energy of this full moon. And I will sum this up all again real quick and put it all together, right? So this moon can bring about a lot of transformation Pluto it can bring about release endings beginnings and catharsis and these changes connected to transforming things ending things beginning things are so that we can align with the future Rahu where we are headed and this process might not feel very difficult because it's a positive aspect things just flow however with the opposition to Neptune Although there are chances of this really spiritual, creative, magical experience, there's also a possibility of feeling confused. Now, that's the moon. But with this Venus-Mars square to Uranus, changes to our relationships, projects, how we do things are possible as well. And these changes can be unexpected. There's also a lot of energy that can lead to restlessness, that can lead to some anger. So just be mindful of that. Alternatively, it's a great time to really do things, to channel that Mars-Uranus energy. And there is some sort of energy about feeling restricted and limited with Saturn beginning its square to the nodes. However, Whatever we are working towards, right, it's more in alignment with our spirituality and there are certain blessings there as well. Jupiter is in a sextile with the North Node. Not exact, it will be, but it is sextiling the North Node. So that's the energy of the moon, transformation, endings, beginnings, sudden unexpected changes, a lot of energy pointing towards, you know, taking action, making things happen, or if that's not done, then anger and frustration and restlessness. 
So this is not a very straightforward moon. I would say there's a lot going on, a lot of different, different things. So it might feel like a lot of mixed energy going on, right? So that's the moon in a nutshell. And now I will pull a few cards for the moon's energy and then we'll close it out. Let's start with this deck. Two cards. Never ending story. Breathe. I think breathe is very important, right? Because this moon, like I said, is not a very straightforward moon. There's a lot going on and Virgo is the sign that gets stressed, right? And Mercury is in an aspect with Uranus. Although a positive one, it is a lot of stimulating mental energy. So don't forget to breathe on this full moon, right? It's not negative. It's not. Pluto is trining the moon. But we might feel like a burst of energy right that feels uncomfortable so take time out breathe relax be by yourself right do this and this is also saying never ending story now pluto like i said is endings and beginnings and transformation perhaps this full moon is asking us what do you need to release that needs to go that keeps coming back up what is that thing right pluto is total release its transformation it's ending what do you need to end what do you need to release that needs to go okay let's see nurturance restore your balance and i think again another message of nourishing yourself taking it easy on this full moon like this card breathe so I think that's important on this full moon. Let me use this deck. Purification. This is again Pluto, right? Pluto is catharsis. It's, it's total release of something. So perhaps this is referring to that, right? What do you need to release? What do you need to end? What do you need to let go of? Perhaps an emotion, perhaps a thought process, perhaps a fear, Pluto is fears as well. That will help you regain that sense of happiness. It's a sunflower, right? It's a very happy, happy card. Let's go with the last card. Now this is a lesson card. So let's see what lesson we have to learn on this full moon. growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and i think this card is uranus uranus is the planet of expanding your consciousness and growing so don't be afraid to change don't be afraid to grow don't be afraid to let go of things that hold you back or are preventing your growth on this full moon so i think i'll close it out at this and once again i'll just show you the cards there's a lot of growth on this full moon since there's a lot of change right pluto is change uranus is change a lot a lot of aspects with pluto and uranus and change is what brings growth so a lot of this is the lesson we need to learn that we need to grow on this full moon and there's a very strong message about what is it that you need to release what is it that you need to end that keeps coming back up but you know you have to let go of it and with that release there can be happiness, right? It's a sunflower and it says purification. And we only purify when we release, right? A lot of energy also about taking it easy, breathing, nurturing yourself, resting, relaxing, right? Because this full moon is a lot of energy. It's not a very straightforward moon and it's not negative, but it can feel challenging. So... That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.